Staying connected and finding a community to be a part of is an important thing to do, whether in person or virtually. At Pellissippi State Community College, we offer a variety of virtual classes hosted on Zoom. Zoom is free and easy to use on any device, including a computer, tablet, or phone. In this video, we're going to show you how to log into a virtual class through Zoom for the first time and how to interact with the others in your class. Let's get started! One to two days before the start of your class, you will receive an email from Pellissippi State Community College inviting you to a scheduled Zoom meeting. There are two ways to join a Zoom meeting. You can call in using a telephone using one of the numbers listed in the email uh, based on your time zone. When you call the number, you'll be prompted to enter the meeting ID. Calling in through the phone is a more limited way to join a class and is only recommended if you lose internet connection. Over the phone, you won't be able to see the visuals, the instructor, or the other people in the class, and vice versa. The way we recommend joining a Zoom meeting is online. This allows you to use the audio and video capabilities in your device to see the instructor, others in the class, and the visual presentation the instructor is sharing. To join online, you'll click the link under Join Meeting, right here. If this is your first time using Zoom, the next screen you will see will prompt you to install Zoom onto your device, whether you're using a computer, tablet, or phone. This is the next screen you'll see after clicking on the link. Now if you have installed and used Zoom before on your computer or device, you will be able to launch the meeting right here. If I click on that right now, nothing happens because I haven't used Zoom on my computer before. So what I'm going to do is come down to the Download Now option and click on this. Now I'm using an Apple computer. This will look very similar if you're using a PC computer. On Apple's, the download tends to be up here at the top of the screen. On PC's, the download will show up right down here along the bottom of your screen. Um, so once it's downloaded, you want to click on double click on the package and then you're going to follow the instructions that it gives you to install. This will only take a few minutes. Uh, we do recommend starting this process either the day before your class or at least 10 to 15 minutes prior to the start of your class on the day of. That way you're completely ready to go when the class starts and don't have to worry about downloading anything uh, and being late for the class. So let's see, introduction, just follow the instructions given on your screen. Again, this might look a little bit different for different computers and devices, but for the most part, it's going to be the same. All right, now that we've installed Zoom, let's click launch meeting and allow. Okay, let me move my screen. Right, you're going to be given the option to select your video preferences. You can join with your video turned on or off. We do recommend that everyone starts with their video turned on, so that way the instructor and the other people in the class can see you. Now you do have the ability to turn your video off at any time during the class, and we'll talk about how to do that in a few minutes. For right now, let's click join with video. And that's it! Congratulations! You are now in the class. All of our virtual classes are set up so that the instructor has to admit you in the class. You will see the screen first, but you've done it. Those are the only steps needed to join the class. If your class does meet more than once, the next time your class meets, you'll follow the exact same steps, only you won't be asked to install the program since you've already done that. So the instructor has led us into the class now, and it looks like there's a few other people already here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Perfect. So this is what your class is going to look like. Um, now let's walk through what you're going to see on the screen. Uh, so up here in the top right corner, there's going to be an option that says view. If you click on that, you'll see a drop down with speaker and gallery. Uh, right now we're in the gallery view. And what that means is each person is going to be uh, shown in a box equal of equal size on your screen. As you can see now, if you hit the speaker mode, the person who is speaking uh, or most recently spoke is going to show on the screen. Um, so right now that, that's Joy. Uh, if your instructor was the last one to speak, they would be the person up there. Uh, we recommend 
using the speaker mode for your class so that way you can see uh, the instructor. But if you're doing discussion or if you're at the beginning or end of the class and want to get to know everyone, the gallery view is a really great option for you. Down along the bottom of the screen, you're going to see your toolbar. And down here you have a few different options to use during your class. The first one is mute. Now if you hover over it, it says mute my audio. Now if you click on that, there will be a red line that the red diagonal line across the microphone. If I click on that, you're not going to be able to hear me right now, uh, but if you click on it during the class, you'll turn off your audio so the rest of the class won't be able to hear you. This is a great option if, let's say, the kids come running in the room or the dog's barking and you need to turn off your audio real quick. Um, this is also used a lot in the music classes when everyone is practicing their instrument at the same time. Uh, the instructor might ask everyone to mute themselves, so this is where you'll see it. I'll click on it right now so you can see the red line across. To unmute yourself, you just re-click the button. Um, the, ne the next option is going to be your video. So right here it says stop video. If I click on that, uh, my video goes away. And during the class, we recommend that you leave your video up so that everyone can see you, the instructor can see you, um, but there are going to be moments where you might need to turn your video off. Like let's say you need to run to a bathroom break or again, kids come running in the room, um, you need to go up and get a drink. It's appropriate for you to shut off your video in that moment. Um, I see John just shut off his video there for a second. So the rest of the options uh, are going to help you interact with your class. Down here along the bottom you see the participants. Uh, that just so shows you who else is in the class. If you click on it, you'll see you now have a bar on the right side of your screen that shows everyone. To exit out of this, you just have to click on this little drop down arrow, click close or you can also hit the participants button along the toolbar a second time. The next option is chat. It's the same, it looks exactly the same as the participants, only it's going to be uh, where you can chat and interact with other students in the class. And so let's see, right now let's say hello to everybody. Oh, Joy said hi, hi Joy. Perfect, so you can type and interact with the class in here. Uh, it's a really great option. Let's say the instructor is showing something um, and you need to ask a quick que question but don't want to interrupt the class, you can type it in here. Uh, now to exit out of this, you again just click on this little drop down arrow or you can come back down to the bottom toolbar and click chat and it'll disappear. There's going to be a share screen option. So as a student, you don't actually have the option to share your screen. I just clicked on it and it looks like get post disabled participant from sharing screen. But the instructor will use this when they are sharing their PowerPoint presentation or any other presentation materials with you. Uh, record is another uh, feature that, that you don't necessarily have to worry about. Um, at Pellissippi State, we do record all of our classes, so if somebody misses a class or uh, if you need to go back and catch up on something, uh, the instructor will have the recording of that class, so just reach out to your instructor. The last option is going to be reactions, and this is really just more of a fun way to interact with the other people in your class. Uh, if you click on it, you've got a clap, a thumbs up, we got a heart, a laughing face, a shock, and a, a little ta-da party, <laughs> party popper there. Um, now keep in mind, if you click on any of these, everyone can see your reaction. Um, so we just had, I think Pat, yep, Joy's got a thumbs up right now. Sometimes the instructor might ask if everyone is f understanding and following along, and this is a great way to, to use your reactions button. So the only other option you're going to see on the bottom toolbar is this leave button here. You don't want to click that during the class. That will actually exit you out of the class and if you want to return to the class you'll need to go back to your original email, click on the link to join, and follow all the steps to rejoin the class. But when the class is over you can click the leave meeting option. All right, that's it. That all, that's all there is to taking a virtual class. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Business and Community Services Office. We are happy to walk through 
a, a Zoom tutorial with you if you want something more hands-on or just to help answer any of your questions. Thanks for joining us today. So we do have a few tips and tricks for you to look your best while you're in the virtual class. Uh, the first one is going to be uh, the room that you choose to do your class in. Uh, it should be quiet. The sound on your device, whether it be a computer, phone, or tablet, is going to pick up on background noises. So we do not recommend having the TV on in the background, music playing, um, or even other people in the room talking because that means everyone else in the class is going to hear those noises as well. The next tip is your visual. Choose a room with a a nice visually pleasing background or a blank wall. Try not to have a direct light source right behind you. Uh, for example, if a window was right behind me during the daylight, you wouldn't really be able to see me. Um, also, try to at least have one light on in the room so you're not, your camera isn't too dark. If you are unsure about uh, finding a good background, Zoom does have the option to have a virtual background. Enjoy actually has one right now, um, unless she really is tuning in to this class from the beach. And we're a little bit jealous if you are. To get a virtual background, go back down to your, your toolbar here uh, where it says stop video and click on the little arrow. And here you see choose virtual background. Um, now the version of Zoom that you're using is going to determine what options you have. Um, so we're not going to go super in depth into this, but if you have the chance to play around on Zoom, this is a fun way to customize the look and feel of, of your, your background.